Hello everyone. I have this little board that I painted in plaster color. We're going to add some Gorilla Glue. We are going to do a crackle here to show you guys exactly what you have to do to get a really good crackle. I'm just going to add Gorilla Glue all over this entire board. We're just going to kind of brush back and forth, side to side, get it completely covered. And then we're going to add some uh, cashew paint. We started out with a lighter color, now we're going on with a darker color. Put it on your brush and just glide it across. Let your brush just glide across really easily. Do not drag your brush. Just barely, barely let it glide across the paint or the glue. It will, or otherwise it will pull your glue off and your crackle will not turn out great. So just barely glide across. And then once you get all of your paint on, you're going to grab a wonderful, what we call a heat tool. I love it, love it, love it, love the heat tool. We're gonna grab it and we're just gonna dry it until you see that crackle start appearing. Just hold it on there. Make sure that you uh, move it back and forth, you guys, because if you do not, you will end up with bubbles and you don't want bubbles because it just when it bubbles up, it just gives it this uh, really rigid look and it doesn't look very pretty. But as you can see the crackle right there, you guys, it's starting to shine through. We'll just continue drying until our crackle looks really super good. That looks almost perfect, you guys. I love the way it's looking. Here in a second, we're gonna add some dark wax so that you guys can see that yummy crackle with the darkness below. And the reason I'm doing that, you guys, is because I want that wax to lay in that crackle because we want it to be super dark. That way, when we go to put a piece of paper over the top of it, you can uh, see the crackle coming through. If you don't want the crackle, crumb, if you're just wanting to have crackle on its own, you can do a dark underneath the light if you would like. That's not a problem either, you guys. But I like doing it this way and having the darkness come through my paper when I use a rice paper. I think it just looks so beautiful. Let me grab that wax. This wax, you guys, is from, uh, it's a bare wax. You can get it at the Home Depot. It's called Dark Antique. And this stuff is so easy to work with, y'all. This board is already warm so that when I go to put on the wax, it's gonna kinda look uh, kind of liquidy. And it's, it's really not liquidy, but it will look that way because the board is, is warm and it's heating up that wax as I put it on there. At first I started out dabbing and then I decided we'll just brush it across. Right here, we're just gonna start brushing it across right there, y'all. <laughs> and it, it just, as you guys can see, see how the wax has gotten hot and it's moving around on there pretty easy super easy and as soon as you get all your wax on here you are going to want to grab a baby wipe and you're going to wipe all this back look at that beautiful crackle shining through there y'all and watch this it's like magic bam there it is you guys how pretty is that i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i hope that it helps you guys to be able to see that it's super easy to crackle and you can make some amazing looking projects um, if you guys have any other questions you can get back with me and just uh, ask it in the comments. Thank you guys for joining me for this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Have a blessed day, you guys. Thank you so very much. Talk to you soon, y'all. Bye-bye.